The third guest of the Space Engineering Podcast will be Dr. Francesco Toputo, who specializes in spacecraft trajectory optimization and space mission design. So for his background, he's been at Politecnico di Milano in Milan, Italy for over 17 years, starting out as a PhD student, then a postdoctoral fellow, then assistant professor, and now he's an associate professor. And he's also a visiting professor at TU Delft in the Netherlands. So his PhD thesis was titled Low Thrust Non-Keplerian Orbits Analysis, Design, and Control, where his studies focused on analysis and design of highly non-linear orbits arising from n-body dynamics. So I met him back in summer of 2019 when I was doing an internship at Gomspace Luxembourg. So Gomspace is a company that is headquartered in Aalborg, Denmark, and they have offices in Sweden and Luxembourg. So we are working on the Miniaturized Asteroid Remote Geophysical Observer, abbreviated MARGO, which is a mission for a 12U CubeSat to use a low thrust engine to reach and investigate an asteroid. So Francesco led the effort of designing trajectories to thousands of asteroids so we could find a few feasible candidates for targets of this mission. So I'll definitely be asking him a number of questions about that mission. He's also a principal investigator for the Lunar Meteoroid Impact Observer, abbreviated LUMIO, mission, which is another 12U CubeSat to observe the moon from an Earth-Moon L2 halo orbit for meteoroid impacts. He's also working on Hera's Milani CubeSat, which is one of the two 6U CubeSats that will be riding along Hera. So Hera is part of the Asteroid Impact and Deflection Assessment, abbreviated ADA, which is a joint mission with NASA's double asteroid redirection test named DART mission that will be impacting a binary asteroid system called Didymos to test this method of asteroid redirection. So this is incredibly important for us humans, for if we observe an asteroid with a high probability of impacting Earth, we can change its orbit by impacting it with a spacecraft, thus protecting ourselves. And this concept is called planetary protection. So the Milani CubeSat is one CubeSat that is riding along Hera, and then the other one is called Juventus, which is being made by GOMSpace, which I also got to work on some proximity operations analysis during that internship. So overall, the Hera mission is really interesting, and I'll be asking Francesco a number of questions about the work he's doing on that one as well. And in the past, he's also done modeling and simulation of the solar arrays for the Rosetta slash Philae mission, which was the first mission to orbit and land on a comet. So again, another really cool and interesting mission. So for the list of questions that I have so far, and I'll come up with more before we do the podcast. So first, starting out with the dynamics of the N-body problem and how this applies to the Earth-Moon system, where the largest forces onto a spacecraft are coming from Earth, Moon, Sun, Jupiter, gravity, and then solar radiation pressure. And I also want to get into the math behind the restricted three-body problem and how when doing this analysis, you you come up with Lagrange points. So I'll ask him a bit of questions about Lagrange points, how they're useful for spacecraft and also halo orbits around Lagrange points. Then I want to get into optimal control. So how to formulate an optimal control problem and then how to solve it using nonlinear programming, uh, direct transcription, and also shooting methods with co-states. I want to then get into low thrust trajectory optimization, so the type of work that he did for the MRGO mission, and computer clusters because this is a very computationally heavy task. So I want to ask him about some decisions and trades that you make when using computer clusters and overall parallelization of solving these problems. And then ask them about asteroid redirect methods and also Rosetta Philae mission. And let me know if there's any questions that you'd like me to ask him in the YouTube comments. And again, this podcast is available on YouTube, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Simplecast.